I'm Steve Brand from TechFest, and I have Blair and Kevin, also part of the team. And we're here for our first exposure uh, to a, a snow bike. Can't follow a snowmobile, a snowmobile can't follow a snow bike. And you're going to see some video here today of those lines. It's just amazing what these things can do. So I'm just going to go to the pros here. Blair's a motocross expert and uh, Kevin is an enduro expert. So they both ride different bikes, different types of competition, but they've all come together here today to, to ride the snow bike and give us their impression. <laughs> Hey guys, Kevin Brand for TechFest here, here to introduce our newest model, new for 2018, the Bushmaster. A lot of you know us as a snowmobile company, but we do ride bikes and we can ride them year round. For those of you who are curious, this is a Beta 300RR race edition with a Yeti snow bike kit and uh, it works great. So anybody who hasn't tried one, get a chance to, should definitely give it a shot. Definitely something that's very different. Uh, it's not like snowmobile, it's not really like a bike. It's a weird hybrid in between. Uh, very steep learning curve. You jump on it and you can't do anything for 10 minutes. And then it just clicks and it just runs great. It's a lot of fun, very tiring, and uh, a worthwhile experience for sure. It is, the snow bike is definitely the ultimate bridge between the summer if you're looking for something to, if you're looking for something to come from to your dirt experience and looking for something to do in the winter, this is this is it. It's completely different from being on the dirt, but just as fun. It's like Kevin was saying, a huge learning curve, but the stuff you can do on this thing is amazing. The hardest part is definitely getting started and stopping. Like all the little dirt habits you get, like putting your foot down and you know, when you, when you stop, like you, you turn in and then put your foot down. You turn in, you fall over. There's nowhere to put your foot. Quite amazed at the lines you can carve with these things. Yeah. It's absolutely amazing. It's it's almost like it, there's no effort involved. It makes its own platform. As soon as you start side hilling, the track can complete, stay completely straight. There's almost no fighting it. You know, when I rode it earlier today, like, you know, it's, it's pretty tough to hit top gear. So we spent... A snow bike spends most of its life in second, third, you might touch fourth for a bit, but then you got to downshift back to third just to keep your momentum going. Yeah, exactly. Like we were out here today in these trees playing around and we never got out of second and third gear. We could have played here all day. You don't need a lot of real estate to have fun on these things. No, no, no you don't. 
You know, this is what they call a Yeti kit, which is uh, made in uh, Canada, recently purchased by Camso, but this is kind of like the Porsche. Probably anybody who's into mechanical machinery production, you, 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 you kind of got to drool when you see these Yetis. Yeah, it's a carbon fiber kit, very lightweight, very strong. It's uh, definitely beautifully made. What about the installation process? Like how long did it take to go from dirt to Yeti to snow? Like mechanically, what's involved? So I didn't put the kit on. Uh, I had our mechanic, the, he's a timber sled and beta dealer. So I got the bike and the kit from him. Uh, I think it's, he said it took him around four hours to do the whole conversion. This, you just point it where you want it to go and it just, it goes there. It's, it goes the same when you get it stuck. Like we buried this thing a few times and just wiggled it around and drove out with, with no, no real effort. Gotta say thanks guys. What a great day here in the middle of April when uh, most people are thinking of dirt bikes and boats and things like that. And you know, that brings me to the point where it's kind of cool. I reached out to a guy at Adventure Streaming who was, uh, had put his, both his sleds away, canceled the insurance and was waxing his boat. And I said, come on, let's go back up to Overs 31 and let's play in the snow and enjoy it. And uh, here we are today, so thanks all. Thanks for watching Adventure Streaming, guys. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We appreciate your support. And until next time, enjoy your adventures.